Hi, good afternoon everybody. This is new room was released around uh, almost two hours ago by Trihack. Mizz is straightforward, whom is more introduction about threat, intel and containment. Is basically when you have an incident response, what exactly you do and some strategy and uh, processes. Uh, if attack box I don't need it, I can shut down the attack box. Uh, this room is to contain my evolves uh, as well as some containment strategy. Additionally, this room is going to introduce you to threat intelligence. Uh, something wrong with my starting machine, and what's going on. Let me just uh, refresh the page quickly. Okay, this is uh, as I said, you can read all of this uh, learning objective called recognize potential threat, analyze threat. I don't need this one, let's not waste the sort of sources. Just shut it down. Uh, by the end of the rules, you should be able to recognize potential threat, analyze the intelligence. It's more introduction this room, let's be clear. It's not uh, some kind of advanced room, but these little tricks you can learn from it. So, pre containment, of course, how to get information, connect IPs. Uh, uh, here they refer to this ELK with packet bit. I didn't know this before. Lightweight shipper for network data, monetary services. I never used before this. There is no room, I think, in TryHackMe that use this uh, packet bit. Uh, of course, we have the IDS. They have the SIM of many rooms in TryHackMe. They have that. Of course, to know the file, most of the time, as you know, for for um, we can use the hash. That's how. And then you go to Vice Total and check what is exactly that one. Um, Okay, straightforward and IDS of course is intrusion detection system. As I said, this is I think is introduction. Maybe in the future they will release a bit uh, one advanced one. Containment strategy, of course. Now when you have a threat and your system, for example, you have an alert or hacking or something, the first thing you have two options. Yeah, they do full isolation, entire isolation. You have the whole system, of course. I'm doing this quick uh, workload on this, you guys you can read about it, a bit late for me this side. So basically, when choosing this strategy, you choose to consider the following. How aggressive do you want the isolation to be? How likely the rush action to be objective? Do we understand the adversary enough yet? Because now, if you isolate everything adversary, we know, but you cut them, they might do uh, to, to jump to another system or make things fast and become then negative on you. Control isolation, is key. of course it means here is, you can see, you keep watching the target, the threat, and, and when you're choosing this study, you should consider the following. What is the risk allowing the adversary to continue? Do we know enough about the adversary? Because it's oh, this, is, this is key, because you don't want to, that's what they say, poke the bear. So, if, uh, if, so it's better to be careful here. Um, let's give the question: What is the name of the containment studies used when responder closes? When we close monitor, so because this one. So it means we are not shutting down all the network and everything, but we we control the the the, the system. What containment strategy is considered to be most aggressive? Most aggressive mean cut everything, like in the movies. Switch the network, switch the um, the router, unplug the cables, all of that. So things like that. Of course, the next phase now, what we do, creating threat intelligence. Now, of course, this is some common form of threat intelligence, include the IP, the file hash, domain. These things, uh, tactical technique, proceed the TTPs. Of course, you can read about this, and then this we use it in many rooms. Open CTI, we use this in many trihack me rooms. This is an example, for example, to about this toilet zero next adversary, and of course, it gives you all the information about it. And then you can, as I said, they give you an example here to this is known digital threat intel alien vault. Is this is to you can get the threat and all of that. You can use them in Open API. This digital threat is a repository. If you subscribe here, you see we can, this is an IBM one too. This is Alien Vault. You can subscribe and get all the information about it. 
then thread feed did feed so you know exactly what's happening with you in the world so you don't get um, you are so you're not in the dark of course here it give you it's better to have a system in the company where user can report not for example this example is where this guy receives suspicious email with attached PDF and he just forward it to the IT admin basically sending the threat to the IT admin so you need to be a system in the companies that control and uh, make it easier for normal user to report threats now what is the term for a set of char characters that can be used to give an attribution to a file this is of course is the hashing as we did here uh, they talk about it here uh, because we can get information now so we can search for the file now a threat intelligence creation f uh, feedback loop now of course here you need to have some information and go feedback and all of that um, it is understandable why I guess may want to redact it the first immediately that's when you talk about it isolation or controlled positive feedback loop a pre-containment and threat integration stage of the IR process okay I'm not like you guys I'm just doing a quick review of this room everybody can read about it what is the name of the classic arcade game that is being referred in this tax so I think it's this one uh, not I think I, I did this one so you can see is that's the arcade the Kamoli. so that's the answer now the next question is the practice now I know give a practice deploy the machine of course then they send a packet captor of the incident has been provided so we have this so we can start our friend the white shark the question is what is the IP address of adversary now they give us a hint I said an executable was downloaded from this address and there's two ways we can do this remember when someone downloads something to me most of the time is a get request so we can get HTTP dot request uh, dot method uh, we can say it's a get because remember when you download when you, any, you click in PDF or something to download is a get request we can see straightforward there is downloaded in this file get dropper.xe so we know the IP is this is one we can confirm that by 3.250.38.0.0 or what we can do is we can always because he said to us is that executable file so what I can do is I just do search find packet an executable file is dot xe and I say search for string and I can say find and it find it straight is this one you can see it's find I can even say follow now it's an HTTP stream you can see now what happened is get dropper is downloaded get dropper.xa uh, that's it that's the, the where it downloaded from Mozilla uh, is using Firefox keep alive where he got it from yeah this is the IP address where he got it from you can see now the drop -out. the next question what is the name of the file that get downloaded we can see uh, we, we already got it now you just follow HTTP stream you can see the file is dropper.xe so we know the file is that next question is what is the SHA-56 of the value of executable on the desktop so if I go to desktop the file is dropper so will be SHA-256 and then I get dropper so book, so we have the SHA file so this is I said this quick room maybe the next one will be more advanced but it's cool so every cup you can framework garden you can do a manage, what is this uh, this external links okay so often case service framework okay guys you can this is free room you can read about it I'm just quick solution about it 
uh, and hope you enjoy it and thank you very much for watching. Have a good day.